the Commission, we respectfully ask that you fill out a speaker's card and bring it to our secretary. <coughs> the public is encouraged to provide any feedback they wish on any specific case. Each side will be given 10 minutes for presentation with a five-minute rebuttal. And lastly, if you wish to discuss the case after we have ruled on it, we would ask that you leave the building as if you go into the back uh, foyer area. It does echo into the chamber. This time, I would ask you to stand with an invocation from Commissioner Randolph, followed by a Pledge of Allegiance by Commissioner Drum. Gracious Father, once again, we come to you with thanksgiving in our hearts for all the blessings you bestowed on our lives. We thank you for watching or protecting us all day long to this very point in time. We thank you for this commission. We thank you for the government we serve, as well as those constituents, Heavenly Father. And in all these blessings, we ask that whatever we do, allow it to be in the best interest of all. In all these blessings, we ask in your holy name. Amen. In our packets, we have the minutes from our January 12, 2016 meeting. If you would please review those, any comments or address any motion. Commissioner Davis. Yeah, I have a correction on the nomination for <coughs> Mr. Darity as vice chairman. I actually made that motion that was seconded by Mr. Matthews. Could you correct that, please? Noted. Thank you. Thank you. I make a motion to approve the rest. A motion by Commissioner Davis to approve, second by Commissioner Matthews. Any further comments? Please vote. Motion carries. Entering parish right of way, servitudes and easements. Entering parish right of way, Bode Road, Ward 4, District 5. Request to enter parish right away for the purpose of laying fiber optic cable. The debtor, Southern Light LLC. Parish Council District Representative, the Honorable Reichert Taladano. Staff. Uh, this center of the parish right away, specifically Bode Road, for the purpose of laying fiber optic cable. Thank you. Is the petitioner here? Is there anyone from the public who wishes to speak in favor of the request? Is there anyone who wishes to speak in opposition? Yes, ma'am? If, if you would please come to the podium and state your name and address. My name is Maria Burkhardt and I'm a neighbor. Um, on Talawa adjacent to Bode, and I'm not in favor or against it. I just wanted to know more about it. I did make a phone call to try to find out today, but I wasn't able to get the information. Um, so I just really wanted to know exactly what they were doing and where the cable was going to be laid on Bode, and is that all they're doing is laying cable down the street. Thank you. Staff, would you care to answer? Yeah, it's going to be on the north side of Bode Lane, uh, starting at the corner of the frontage road and going uh, east. And uh, it looks like it's roughly 483 feet of cable. Is that all the, the whole length of Bode down to Orleans? No, I don't believe so. No. no? It's just the first 500 feet. Okay. And it's, and it's simply, it, will it cross Talawa Lane? No, it does not appear to cross Tallawa Lane. That's the other side, opposite side from where she is. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you. I have no further questions. Thank you. Is there anyone else from the public who wishes to speak? Seeing none at this time, I'll close it to the public and I'll bring it to the commission. Commissioner Randolph. Yes, and <clears throat> as, as we have in the past, 
I'm just surprised a project like this, Southern Light is not here to answer some of those questions. Um, can I move to postpone? I'll second it. We have a motion by Commissioner Randolph to postpone, second by Commissioner Matthews. Is there any further comments? Commissioner Davis. Yeah, one, one comment to staff. For the, for the woman who came up earlier, would you show her that uh, the map that you have to indicate exactly where that location is? Sure. He has that. it. The gentleman has it, I think. Oh, he does. You do have the, the okay. Thank you. And uh, Commissioner Randolph, the uh, reason for postponement is there's no representation of the, uh, of the, petition. the petitioner. Is there any other further questions? Commissioner Matthews? Well, I just want to reiterate, that's, that's the exact reason why we asked for somebody to be here. Uh, the staff has, has said this is what they think, this is what they believe, and without you know, a, a very definite statement, and I understand you can't because it's not your project. But uh, this lady had questions, and we can't answer them. And this is why we want someone to be here. And I think Mr. Randolph was very correct in saying uh, if they can't be here to answer her questions, we need to let them come next month and answer her questions. That's all i got to say. Any other comments by the commission? If not, we have a motion by Commissioner Randolph, second by Commissioner Matthews. <clears throat> to postpone, please vote. Motion for postponement carries. <coughs> Entering Parish Right of Way, H Street, Ward 3, District 2. Request to enter Parish Right of Way for the purpose of gaining access to property. The debtor, DMM Construction, Parish Council District Representative, the Honorable Dennis Sharp. Staff. Uh, the center of the right-of-way is uh, specifically for a portion of H Street located with an Alexisville subdivision for the purpose of gaining access to property. And I'd like to note that item number three, uh, there was a typo, and it does not need to say aggregate. It needs to say asphalt. It will be an asphalt roadway. Thank you. Is the petitioner here? Please come to the podium. Mr. Martin, state your name and address for the record. Good afternoon. It's Danny Martin, 21404 Spring Clover Lane, Covington. And the, the uh, purpose for the request? Purpose of the request is I, per I bought uh, that square, and so I'm going to have four buildable lots on that H Street, and that H Street would be renamed to Landry Cape, which would be an extension from what it is across the, uh, on the other side of Ninth Avenue. So it's the purpose of getting to those lots. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone from the public uh, who would wish to speak in favor as well? Is there anyone who wishes to speak in opposition? Seeing no one from the public, I would close to the public at this time, bring it to the commission, Commissioner Davis. Yeah, uh, Mr. Martin. Yeah. <clears throat> you say you intend on building four? Four, four that's homes. buildable lots. Is that two lots. on each side? Pardon me? Is that two on each side of the street? Uh, no, sir, it would be four on the same side, going south. Okay. I'm a little curious because at the very end of my, the resolution that says I've already made a motion to, pa to pass this it said move for adoption by Mr. Davis and seconded by Mr. Randolph. <laughs> I don't have a problem with. Well, I mean, I will actually make a motion That's to all. approve. Wait, <laughs> so, just to make things clarify, that's what I'm doing. It. Thank you. It, it does seem to be better to make these motions after the yes, not before. <laughs> so we have a. I will make a motion, will make a motion to approve. So to keep the record straight, we'll have the motion by Commissioner Davis, second by Commissioner Randolph. And uh, Commissioner Richard, any further comments? Just getting a clarification and Commissioner Dougherty, the same? Okay. 
You guys are clairvoyant. It's very good. I was going to say it. Did, did we sign it? Again, we have a motion by, let me read the proclamation. We have a motion by Commissioner Davis, second by Commissioner Randolph. Please vote. Motion carries. Minor subdivisions, 2016-158-MSP. 3.84 acres being parcels 3, 4, and a portion of land into parcels 3A, 3B, and 4A. Ward 2, District 3, the owner, Evan and Aaron Wolf, the surveyor, Dating Marquis and Associates, LLC, Parish Council District Representative, the Honorable James Red Thompson. Staff. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the reason why a public hearing is required for this minor subdivision is that one of the parcels uh, do not have public road frontage. Uh, the owner is proposing to adjust lot lines between three existing lots of record, and by doing so is creating a lot, which is parcel 3B, uh, which is on the southern end that does not have public road frontage, hence the reason for the public hearing. However, since a private drive will provide access to only to only said parcel 3B. Said drive is not required to be built to a pair of standard pursuant to section 40-045.0 minimum standards for a private drive as subdivision ordinance 499. Therefore, since the request complies with all code requirements, the staff has no objections to the proposed minor subdivision request. Uh, to, as additional adding, if you look at the uh, survey, it's kind of busy. I'm sure the owners will explain it, but if you look at it where it says Beverly in the top right to the left-hand corner, that's some unplatted property that they're adding uh, to parcel four, and then they're taking a portion of parcel four kind of like in the middle of the uh, survey and adding that to parcel 3A on the top and then 3B at the bottom. So they're basically doing lot line adjustments. They're not creating any additional net number of parcels, but because of the reconfiguration and alienation of lot 3B from the public roadway, which which before had access to Zelling Lane, that again, the requirement for the public hearing. Thank you. Is the petitioner here? Yes. If you'd please come to the podium, state your name and address. I'm Evan Wolf. My address is 17506 Highway 40, Folsom. And the reason for your request, sir? Uh, as Mr. Keller said, um, we are just uh, needing to make some adjustments because when we received the property, it was willed to us. And the way my grandfather willed it, he put my brothers sharing a lot. Um, one of them doesn't want to keep that land, so we were buying him out and uh, consolidating my brother's lot, and then I'm gaining an extra lot. To We're just kind of switching things around, but it's... Like you said, we're not adding any lots. It's just we were stuck with what we had, and we had to kind of make it work. Thank you. Is there anyone else from the public who wishes to speak in favor? Is there anyone who wishes to speak in opposition? <coughs> this time I close it to the public, and I bring it to the commission. Commissioner Willie. Yeah, that's fine. I move for adoption. Second. We have a motion by Commissioner Willie to approve, second by Commissioner Randolph. Commissioner Matthews. I just wanted to make sure Commissioner Davis hadn't already made a motion on this. <laughs> <laughs> Commissioner Lauren. <clears throat> Thank you. Before we vote on it, I don't have a problem with it, but I just, as, as Ron mentioned, that survey is awful busy. I really can't understand where the new lot lines are going to be. Could somebody walk me through this a little bit? I see 4A and 4. Is that, are those going to be combined? Or are they going to be? Thank you. 
Okay. Okay. Now I understand. <laughs> Thank you. Any further comments by the commission? If not, we have a motion by Commissioner Willie, a second by Commissioner Randolph to approve. Please vote. Motion carries. 2016-159-MSP, <clears throat> a 10.921 acre parcel into lots one through five, Ward 5, District 6, the owner, Stronghold Construction, Surveyor, J.V. Burks and Associates, Inc., Parish Council District Representative, the Honorable Richard Tanner. Staff. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the owner is required to have, have a public hearing because he is creating parcels that are being accessed by a private drive. Uh, the owner is proposing to create five parcels from a 10.921 acre parcel, parent parcel. This property came before the commission a few months ago uh, in the form of an eight lot tentative subdivision request, however, was rejected by the commission. Uh, this proposal, the new proposal under the minor subdivision process complies with parish code requirements. <clears throat> Therefore, the staff has no objections to the proposed minor subdivision request. Subject to the following comment, the private drive <clears throat> must be, uh, is uh, to be uh, constructed to meet all applicable parish road construction standards pursuant to section 40-035.0 minimum construction standards for a private drive, the subdivision ordinance 499, prior to the survey plat being recorded for public record. Thank you. Is the petitioner here? Yes. If you please come to the podium, state your name and address. I'm Angie Emard. I represent J.V. Burks and Associates, a surveyor. I'm, with, I'm Joshua Camper with Stronghold Construction. And the reason for your request? is for the property um, to turn into a minor subdivision. Thank you. Is there anyone else from the public who wishes to speak in favor? Is there anyone who wishes to speak in opposition? Seeing none at this time, I close it to the public and I bring it to the commission. Commissioner Randolph. I move to approve. approve. A motion by Commissioner Randolph to approve. Yes, sir. Second by Commissioner Lauren. Commissioner Matthews. I have one question. <clears throat> this plaque clearly shows lot one and two have uh, a great deal of access on the, uh, the private drive as well as, I believe, Highway 41. Uh, lots three and five appear to have access in that circle uh, to the private drive. I don't understand how lot four would have sufficient uh, access to this private circle. Uh, the way it's shown, it looks like it, it only touches at a tangent here uh, with act actually no contact or contact as a dot. How, how, does, that, how does that work? <clears throat> Okay. And, uh, Ron, Ron, if you would right here, if you would like. Ron, if you would state that in into the record yeah, for the public, or, or, or Bill, yeah. you know, Commissioner Matthews. Uh, just for the record, I've been handed a uh, what appears to be a revised uh, survey, and the private drive now shows that it goes well into Lot Four to give them. Uh, looks like maybe 50 or 100 feet of access uh, to this road, uh, which is, I believe, sufficient. Is that not right, Ron? Yes, sir, that's correct. Okay. I apologize for not getting into okay. your sub uh, supplemental packet. Until okay, well, that's good. Just so uh, we had to have lot four get, get in there somewhere. All right, thank you. That answers my question. Want to put this in the, the record, Commissioner Ron? Commissioner Randolph. Yes, Mr. Chair, with that, with that being in mind, with that update and amendment, I'd like to go on and make sure we include that in the motion. And I, I so move. I'll amend my motion. Okay. We, and, and that being a, a document for the record, 
we'll make sure that that is in the public record. And with that, we still have a motion by Commissioner Randolph, a second by Commissioner Lauren to approve. Please vote. Motion carries. Entering the Tammany Trace, we have none. Revocations, closing review, we have none. Resubdivision review, we have none. Dormant subdivision <coughs> review, we have none. Tentative subdivision review, we have none. Preliminary subdivision review, 2016, 150-PP, Bedico Creek, Parcel 12, Ward 1, District 1. The developer owner, Bedico Creek Preserve, LLC. The engineer, Kelly McHugh and Associates, Inc. Parish Council District Representative, the Honorable Marty Dean. Staff. Preliminary plans and hydrologic logic study have been reviewed by this office and an inspection of the site was made. It's recommended that the preliminary submittal be approved subject to the following. Plans and specifications for the construction of the project's water distribution lines and sewer collection lines have not yet been approved by the Department of Health and Hospitals as required. No work order will be issued until the submitted plans and specifications are approved by DHH. No maintenance obligation is required since this is a private subdivision. No mandatory developmental fees will be required at final submittal in accordance with Ordinance 499 since a public hearing was held prior to January 1st, 2005. Development has no comments. Thank you. Mr. Maroon. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Paul Maroon on behalf of Bedico Creek Preserve, LLC. Uh, this is another phase of the Bedico Creek development, parcel 12. Uh, as you can see, we've addressed all of the staff comments uh, prior to the meeting this evening with regards to the DHH. Uh, we have made the submittal of the sewer and water plans. They are currently under review there. Uh, we expect to have that, uh, that approval any day now. I believe they have a 60-day time frame, and oftentimes they're we usually get that about the end of that 60 days. So um, other than that, I believe all other issues are addressed, and we would respectfully request your approval uh, of a preliminary for parcel 12 of Bedico Creek. Thank you. Is there anyone else from the public who wishes to speak in favor of the request? Is there anyone who wishes to speak in opposition? At this time, I close it to the public, and I bring it to the commission. Commissioner Randolph. Um, Paul, question. Hold on, let me get my notes. Concerning the, um, hold on a second. The work order. Um, you said it, it will be issued after DHH, or maybe this is to the staff. I'm sorry, Paul. Yeah, it won't be issued until after the Department after of Health and Hospitals has okay. issued a permit. All right, thank you. Commissioner Lauren. Thank you. Mr. Murrow? <clears throat> yes. If I'm reading this right, this is for lots 446 through 501? Yes. Okay, and... It's tying into existing streets. That is correct. So it's just a loop, a little circle. Okay, That's thanks. exactly right. I just want to make sure I was reading it right. Yes. Commissioner Davis. Yeah, Paul, I have a question about the drainage. The northern lots, 464 to 457 and 488 to 496, it looks like it's a swell there, and they're all draining to the middle of those lots. That's correct? That that is correct. They're gonna. Uh, there is a swale at the rear of lots 465 through 480. Okay. Do you see that? So the lots 446 through 464 will drain to the front, and okay. then once you get to 465, there'll be a break. Part of the lot will drain to the front roadside ditch. Right. Part will drain to the back to the new swale in, in the rear. Okay, and that temp you, you have a temporary ditch to the pond? You see how you have that around lot 862? You see how the culvert's in between 461 and 460, then it's in between 492 and 493? Yes. And this 290 degree turns at the end there, is there a reason for that? Um, the only thing I can say is that those that is going through a 
uh, a future phase. And so once that phase is constructed, I would anticipate that that, that may be straightened out based on, okay. new, on new lot lines. Yeah, I was just concerning because of the velocity of flow going through there with two restrictions. Right. That's going to hurt. Okay. But it's going to definitely drain to the lake, which is at the south, right? That is correct. And can I assume that at the very end of lot 446 on the northeast, with the drainage coming towards the south, that that, that drains also into the lake? Yes. Okay, but that's just not shown how it drains to the lake right well now. that that gets let's see if at the end of 446 right um we do show the culvert right I see um the culvert. that's going to be uh under that roadway there right and then ultimately it is it is going to be ditched to that lake to the south okay but there's no drawing on exactly the path like it's going to go around 811 i'm assuming it is i i don't know but i mean it's just it seems like that should be on the plat that shows yep. me how it's draining to the lake from 446. I agree with you. I agree. And I don't see the detail there, but that's something that we can provide to Mr. Watson okay. before we pull our work order. All right. Thank you. Okay. That, that was my question as well. Okay. So, Commissioner Dowd. Commissioner Richard. Uh, with all those answers, I uh, move to approve. Motion by Commissioner Richard to approve. Second. Second by Commissioner Davis. Any further discussion? Hearing none, please vote. Motion carries. Final subdivision review, we have none. Proposed amendments to ordinance 499, we have none. Old business, none. New business, an ordinance to amend the St. Tammany Parish Code of Ordinances, Appendix B of Chapter 40, Subdivision Regulation Ordinance Number 499, specifically Section 40-032.0, Streets Relative to Road Testing Standards, Drainage, and Utility Trench Backfill. This is for public notice only. This um, item will be addressed at the March meeting. With that, is there any other business to come in front of the commission? It, Commissioner Matthews. There'll be no, no discussion on this tonight. Is correct. That, correct? that is no. correct. Anything else? If not, we'll have a motion to adjourn. Hello,